Welcome to Nick's Tesla Life. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the video with your friends. And I would appreciate it if you'd press that little like button. Hey, I wanted to do a video of how autopilot and navigate on autopilot handles itself in construction zones. So here we go. So I wanted to show, I've um, got my hands real close here. Uh, I'm in a construction zone and um, as long as there's lines in the road, autopilot uh, or navigate on autopilot uh, will handle it relatively well. It does get a little close sometimes uh, to barriers and you definitely have to be uh, ready to take over uh, because if the barrier uh, juts out um, and the road lines disappear, uh, it can be really dangerous. So you shouldn't really use it in construction zones whatsoever, but I wanted to show that it can, um, can work. Um, I think this is going to be a general issue with um, full self-driving because there's always construction zones around and how well uh, autopilot will be able to, or full self-driving, will it be able to handle construction zones. And as you can see, uh, as long as the road lines are visible, um, even when they're not visible, like in spots here, it still predicts the uh, path relatively well. Um, I think it's more if the road line is incorrect. So the road line can disappear, like there's nothing on the right here, but there's an edge. Now here's a car trying to merge in. Wow, nice. Uh, it didn't used to do that. Uh, it didn't used to pick up cars uh, trying to merge in. Um, but what I was saying was, um, in construction zones, um, the one thing you have to watch out for uh, clearly are uh, bar barriers that uh, jut out all of a sudden. Uh, or if road lines um, are incorrect, meaning a road line takes you into a barrier or takes you off the road, um, because it does seem to use the road lines when it sees them. Um, and um, now when the road line disappears, it um, can predict where the road surface uh, should be but I think it does rely upon the road lines when they are there. So we're sort of out of the main tough part of this construction jump, but I just wanted to show you. And please don't uh, bash me. You, you really should not be using it here, but I just wanted to show you uh, that it, it, it is relatively stable in construction zones. Thanks for watching. If you want to see some of my other Model 3 videos, they're here in the top right. I just created a new channel, Nick's Pickleball Life, for my pickleball adventures. The name's weird, but the game is great, and you can find games virtually everywhere. My Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram accounts are listed on the bottom right. And please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.